I'm Dr. Tanya Parrish here at Parrish Aesthetics. I'm a board certified ophthalmologist and ocular plastic surgeon. I've been doing medical aesthetics for the past seven years. I perform comprehensive ophthalmology surgeries, including cataract surgery, pterygium, ocular plastic procedures, including blepharoplasty, brow pexy, lower lid surgery. Love doing plastics. So I do a lot of eyelids, including upper eyelid surgeries, lower eyelid surgeries, so brow lifts. These can be functional procedures that are covered by your insurance as well as cosmetic procedures. Uh, we have our own surgery center here at Parrish Eye Center uh, in conjunction with Parrish Aesthetics. That's the Seven Springs Surgery Center where we perform all of our surgical procedures in-house. We do a lot of mid-face lifting, whether it's surgical or medical. I also perform a lot of laser procedures that we can perform cosmetically to the surface of the face using the same laser that I perform the surgery with. This CO2 laser cuts and coagulates at the same time, minimizing bruising and bleeding, not using a traditional scalpel in order to do my surgical procedures for blepharoplasties, but also using this laser again over the skin to do laser resurfacing of the face and neck. Laser skin resurfacing definitely has some downtime. It is a big commitment. If you're doing something as simple as a superficial peel for pigment and texture, uh, you can only have some downtime of maybe three to five days. However, if you're doing a full deep peel, I would say that's a good seven to 12 days of downtime because the main part of the peel really starts happening around five days. So think of it as the worst sunburn you've ever had. And it is, it is a big deal. It's a major commitment when we do these things. But if you look at some of our before and afters, you'll see that these are permanent results. And you can get 80% reduction in future skin cancers purely by taking off that outer layer of skin. You're literally taking off those cancer cells. Those cancer cells are no longer there on the surface of the skin because they've been sitting there harboring, growing for a long period of time. Think of it like barnacles, you know, we're just completely taking off all those barnacles from the surface of the skin. problems that we address are aging of the face, right? So how can we deal with that? A lot of what happens is there's bone loss in the face, which causes all of the rest of your face to then droop. If you don't have the suspension here, you're going to droop here to there. If you don't have the suspension here, then this is all going to come down as well. So it's very important to rebuild the mid face. And we can do this with biostimulators like Sculptra, where we actually inject a product that is absorbable sutures. So absorbable sutures are non-permanent way of holding up tissue. So it's shaved down into tiny little pieces and you inject that in different tissue planes and create inflammation in that local area, which causes your body to bring in new collagen. So it rebuilds collagen in that local area. And that can be a permanent effect, doing that maybe once, twice uh, in the beginning and then doing it once a year there annually afterwards. We can also do uh, fillers in the mid face, which then lifts this area because a lot of what I have to deal with is the tear trough and how can we fill the lower eyelid hollows. We really want to fill the mid face to recreate that bone structure. So we don't want to give everyone huge big cheeks, right? We want everyone to look like their natural version of their own self that's not aging as much as they currently are aging. So. Increasing the volume here in the mid face and over the zygomatic arch and really bringing back that youthful face is what's most important. I don't like to overfill people. I like to use things that we can tighten the tissue, tighten the skin using laser resurfacing um, and using threads to lift tissue as well, as well as some filler. Um, but a combination therapy is what's most important as well as taking care of the skin with a skin regimen. Having a really good skin regimen that you do every day and preventing things is very important as well. I also perform artist robotic hair restoration, where we take individual biopsy follicles of the hairs from the back of the head using algorithmic computer technology for every single hair to be translocated to the front of the head. I 
love the Artist Machine because it gives you the incredible ability to use algorithmic technology of computers instead of using the human hand. This gives us the ability to follow the angle and trajectory of every single hair follicle, giving us the greatest number of yield of hairs to move to, from the back of the head to the front of the head. This can be done for men or women. We can also do PRP injections. PRP is when we take your blood, spin it down, get the growth factors out, and re-inject it into the scalp. This can improve pigment of the hair as well as thickness and volume. We also perform other procedures including Botox, fillers, threads, so come check us out.